Hi there! This tutorial is as a result of all the leftovers I had from my men's shirt refashions and I couldn't help but do a couple outfits showing just how I used the scraps to my advantage. So here's a sneak peek, the full look will be towards the end. Starting with the sleeves, I removed the cuffs and opened up the side seams. Afterwards, I ironed them and cut them in half. Using the halves without the plackets, I placed the short end to the center front, folding under a half inch for allowance. I then folded the center of the half under to contour it to the bust and create what resembles a princess seam. Next, I sewed the center, then trimmed the sides to a half inch and measured what would be the shoulders. For the back, I used the other halves with the plackets, cutting them the same width as the shoulders. I then joined the front and back together at the shoulders and finished the sides. Afterwards, I overlapped and sewed the bottoms together and placed a strip of button placket at the bust. From there, I attached a pair of sleeve cuffs to the sides, which I used as a closure for the back. For the final touch, I added a buttonhole strip to the hem, to make it detachable and I also added another button closure at the back. As for the pants, I first undid the hem and pressed. Then I opened the outer side seam 3 inches and finished the edge by turning it under twice. Before attaching the cuffs, I measured the width of both the cuff and the hem. With the hem being 6 inches wider, I made a few pleats to reduce the fullness. Once they were the same width, I attached the cuffs making sure the right and wrong sides were together.
the second look I'll show you how I made it detachable. For this look, I started by removing the sleeve placket, then locating the center. With the allowance folded under, I decided on the width I wanted the neck. From there, I folded under the sides to form the armholes. Afterwards, I altered the length and ironed all the folds. Once that was done, I removed the excess making the allowance a half an inch. And checked the sides making sure they were the same length. For a more fitted look, I added a couple darts to the front. Next, I finished the edges starting with the neck. To use the plackets as straps, I first made them the same width. As for the placket I used at the waist, I opened one side then reclosed one end. I then took the top and sandwiched the waist between the placket.
These pants were done in the same way as the first look except, as you can see, I made the side slit a lot higher. To make the looks a little more polished, I paired them with a jacket. I hope you found this tutorial useful and as always thanks for watching.